Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Heather. I am an Etsy and print on demand business owner that has earned multiple six figures in revenue on my own print on demand business store. And now I teach others on how they can do that too through my YouTube channel. I am just your average person. I'm a really awkward person in person. If you ever meet me in person, I don't know. Why am I making this introduction? I feel like if you're on this channel, you probably already know me. You probably already know I'm awkward if you've watched all of my blooper reels. But besides that, I wanted to create this video. This is a really exciting video today because I wanted to show you my mug. So as you can see, it's just a black mug with a black design on it. And of course, I should have polished this mug prior to filming this. But as you can see, my beautiful design that you really can't see on here. What's really neat about this mug, and you know what? I'm just gonna show you guys. So I'm gonna make some tea and we're gonna get straight into this video. But before we do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, comment down below any suggestions for future videos because I am writing everything down that people suggest. But besides that, I'm gonna see you guys in just another second here. Hold on. Alrighty, now we can get back to the video. And as you can see, the mug is not black anymore. It is such a cute mug. It's a temperature changing mug. And most of you could probably already tell at the beginning of the video that it was a temperature changing mug, but this is one of the neatest mugs I have found on Printify. And I thought it would be a great video to do is doing some mug designs together and showing you where I have found mug designs as well. You probably can guess already that we are using Creative Fabrica. We're using Canva today. And one of my favorite historical historical data pulling softwares, which is Everbee. So we will use it all today. I'm going to show you exactly where this mug is from. You can get this mug on Printify. It is from a Germany company. So with that being said, the shipping time does take a little bit longer than other print on demand providers currently for these temperature changing mugs. But this is one of the coolest mugs. And I think even if you have a one product Shopify store or even any type of Etsy store, you could really get some nice sales on on these types of mugs since they are just so unique and so cool, especially for gift giving when the holiday season comes around. This is not the only mug that Printify offers. There's also my locker that sells color and temperature changing mugs as well. So highly recommend looking into different types of mugs that aren't your standard mug. For this mug specifically, the price with Printify Premium is $5.29 and then the shipping price is $5.49. But for a mug like this, that's so unique and cool. You can sell that for easily $14.99. So you're still getting a profit of around $5. But again, that's before all of the fees that you'll incur with Etsy transaction fees and processing fees, things like that. So that's something to think of as well. But this is still a really neat mug to sell on a specific Etsy store or a Shopify store. So besides that, I'm going to make my green tea and we're gonna hop straight into this video here. By the way guys, I don't think I ever wanted to show anyone this, but since you guys are my POD friends and YouTube subscribers, you get the behind the scenes. So I recently purchased a gaming computer for, well, gaming. If anyone knows me in real life, I'm a huge geek, I guess I would label myself as. I love to play sims i love to play planet zoo city skylines and i just like to game i've even played fortnite which i'm not proud of saying don't tell anyone that i may or may not still play fortnite one of the reasons why i film in this direction so you'll usually see this behind me and don't mind me i just have a tea packet in my hand that I'm going to make tea soon with. Usually I film here in this space because if I go anywhere else, guys, I'm gonna be honest, I'm really lazy with cleaning and organizing and let me give you a tour of my place and how messy it is. I really don't wanna show you this, but I'm showing you this because I think it's interesting, the life of a YouTuber. So this is the back area. <laughs> and as you can see, I really do move around quite a bit of stuff. 
So I have my water, I have my photos, and then I have my two monitors, and then my gaming computer. And then I have my planner for the day, which is right there. Then I have my lighting. This is just a circle light that I use, and sometimes I turn it orangey yellow color, especially for October and Halloween. I'm trying to do like orangey different types of videos. And sometimes in this area, my lighting turns out like really, really blue. And I'm not a blue light type of person. I like orange lighting, so hence that. So this is like my little makeup area. And this is honestly where I keep the most of my mess. <laughs> Just don't look at it. I hope the camera's blurred out. And then as we go further, this is Steve. Steve is thriving and he's growing and he's going to be as tall as me one day. By the way, I have a bunch of samples, if you can see right here. So those are all my samples for my videos. As you can see, my place, it's honestly such a wreck. So we have a wedding coming up and I just have not cleaned. I have not cleaned at all. I don't know what this video is today besides me just rambling on. And I'm sure a lot of people have skipped through this part already. If you're still watching your OG POD friend. Anyways, we're gonna make our tea. We're gonna get into this video. I'm gonna get focused because generally, if anyone wonders about my YouTube workflow, by the way, I created a second channel called Hey Heather. I'm on YouTube on a second channel now, so check that out. I'm doing the whole behind the scenes of being a YouTuber. I'm sharing all my statistics openly on that channel. I've realized a lot of people on this channel don't necessarily care about my YouTube stuff as much as I like to share it. So for those of you who are interested in starting your own YouTube channels and and maybe you're kind of interested in print on demand, but you're more interested in the whole behind the scenes of YouTube, growing a YouTube channel, having digital products and selling digital products, selling courses, creating online courses, things like that. I have a lot of knowledge around all there is about YouTube and what I have learned in my time on YouTube, especially with brand deals, sponsorships, affiliate marketing, the whole workup. So if you're curious and you want to learn about that, go to my Hey Heather YouTube channel. Definitely subscribe. It is a new channel and I am so excited to share all the behind the scenes with this YouTube and that YouTube as well and my whole work flow, my whole process and what I do, how I made this into a business where I am monetized on YouTube and I take brand deals, sponsorships, things like that. So highly recommend checking that out if you are interested. But besides that, we're going to make our tea. We're going to get into the video. My editor is probably like, you're not going on script. What the <laughs> are you doing, Heather? Anyways, we're going to make our tea. Then we're going to get in the video because I don't know what I'm doing. I don't do these things. I'm just here. So this is currently my favorite green tea brand. This is Kirkland green tea. I've tried a few other green teas that I wasn't really a fan of. And I feel like I'm not well versed in green tea. It's kind of like a new thing I've been doing. I'm trying to switch off of coffee. I'm trying to kind of be more health in my life right now. So to be more health, I've been trying to drink green tea. I've been really decaffeinating. I don't know if that's a word, but I've been trying to not have coffee as often. I used to drink probably the equivalent of three to four cups of coffee a day. So just for, oh, I totally just dropped that whole thing. Oh my God. I hope it's not hot. Oh, hot. Okay. So this is how my day's going, if anyone was wondering. I don't know if you're supposed to do this where you do this with green tea or any tea. I do it though. I don't think you're supposed to do that, but I always do it. So anyways, this is how my brain works. It goes in tangents. I'm like, oh, cool mug, tea. Oh, I should maybe talk about how to design a mug instead of just talking about tea and how cool this mug is. So if you've made it to this part of the video, the whole point of this video, guys, is first of all, mugs are one of the best gifts that you can give during the holiday season. And since I am showing you this specific mug, I want 
wanted to go over how to design for mugs in specific because on this channel I have really focused on t-shirts and sweatshirts and hoodies and I really haven't shown you other products you can design for and how to design for those products. So today I wanted to go over the designs that sold last year and were bestseller mug designs and what will more than likely sell this year and give you guys some tips and how to design a mug for the holiday season and Christmas, Thanksgiving, what have you. This time right now is the best time to start designing. I say this in my print on demand academy and to all of my students, but right now you should be really designing, cranking out designs for Thanksgiving, Christmas. And then on top of that, you really want to focus on the evergreen niches that you can give gifts for, such as the occupational niches. For example, teacher gift niches for Christmas or coworker gift items. There's so many different items that you can have. And that's why I love this design for this video, because this design says, I love my job. This design is a super cute type of design. I believe this would even sell during the holiday season, such as Christmas, because I think it's a funny Christmas gift. It's a funny Halloween gift. Maybe a coworker's birthday is around Halloween or in October. This is just such a cute gift to give to someone. But with that being said, if you're designing for mugs, you really want to be designing for the gift giving season, especially if you're on Etsy. Etsy is a gift giving platform. If you've been around my YouTube channel for a while now, you will know that Etsy is a gift giving platform. And that's what we primarily try to focus on on this channel is how can we make designs that are targeted and geared towards our customers on Etsy who are shopping for gifts for other people. So with that being said, when we're designing today, we are going to design some Christmas mugs that we can see maybe giving to a family member or a sister, maybe a brother-in-law, maybe a mom or even a uncle or for that matter, even a coworker. There's just so many different types of mugs that you can design for that could be great gifts for this holiday season. So without further ado, we're going to hop onto my laptop and get to designing. Alrighty guys. So now that we're on my laptop, we are going to get to doing our our research first of all then we're going to create a design together and put it on a mug so as you can see from my recent search history i was kind of looking at some mugs of course you have the basic hashtag pumpkin spice 100 that witch for halloween a lot of Thanksgiving and different Halloween designs are coming up currently because that's what's going to be ranking very soon here. So what's really important that we're looking at today is the Christmas mug. So I'm just going to simply type in, I can't spell today, Christmas mug. And we're just going to see whatever B wants to pull up for us. And I am not signed in. So we're gonna sign in here first. Okay, now we're in. So <laughs> I'm going to pull up our analytics. One of the things that I want to mention is I love using Everbee because it's almost like opening up a history book. And when you're on Everbee, you can see what the history of listings are, what sold in the past. And this is really great for seasonal niche items. One of the reasons why it's so great with seasonal niche items is because you can see what sold last year, what's most likely going to sell again next year. And some of the things that I look at with Everbee is specifically the listing age and how many total sales a listing got. The estimated monthly revenue really doesn't help us that much when we're looking for those old bestsellers. So I am looking for a mug that's over 500 estimated total sales. We're looking for quite a bit of favorites and listing age over a year because again, that would indicate what sold last year. So So this funny Christmas mug looks like it's kind of 
winning as far as sales go. And this is just a personalization mug, but personalization mugs are really great during this time of year as well. If you have the time and the capability to do personalization mugs this is a really good niche to go into so today i think we're going to do more of a personalization type of mug because it looks like this is what really sells around the holiday season especially as gifts for maybe a mom dad maybe an uncle or a sister that you know really loves coffee and you can get them a cute mug or even hot cocoa type of items these are just really great for specific family members. So I'm going to see what other one we have that's a big seller around this time. Now this is not print on demand, but it's really nice tree mug. So by the way, support handmade business for anyone who also sells print on demand. I am a purchaser of handmade items on Etsy. I've been a supporter of handmade business since the beginning of time. For those who have been on this channel for a while. Print on demand gets a lot of hate and that we're trying to kind of come into handmade businesses and take over. And that's not my goal, at least. I feel like print on demand is just a business model that allows others a scalable business that they can create at home with only their laptop if they don't have the time and the budget to create a handmade business. But I've heard a lot of print on demand sellers who started as a handmade business, then went to print on demand or sell 50 50 50 where they have handmade and print on demand items on their store that can be done as well but i just want to say support handmade business this is a really nice ceramic coffee mug that i would personally buy so i think that's super cute but besides that we're gonna go and keep going here i feel like i always slouch in my videos like i'm like and then i'm like i don't know what this video is anyways so here we go again. Here is another personalized hot chocolate mug. So not just coffee, hot chocolate, secret Santa gift, penguin mug, kids Christmas gift. It looks like the hot chocolate mugs are a winner here. And I am just going to run some Etsy analytics and we are just going to kind of pull some more data just to make sure that this was a bestseller in the past. So as you guys can see, this has total sales of over 800. So 867 sales on this one mug. It has a total of 141 reviews and the listing age is two years and nine months. So that means that this keeps being a bestseller over and over again. And it's still getting sales. It looks like it's going to be a bestseller again this year. So we're going to create our own version of this type of personalization hot cocoa mug that I think would be super cute around Christmas time. So we're going to hop on to, well, we're already on my computer. I was just going to say, we're going to hop on to my computer. That would be kind of like an inception where I'm in my computer now in another computer. Whoa. Okay, besides that, we're gonna get on Canva and start designing. I'm not logged into anything today. This is my struggle. So guys, now that we're on my Canva account, I am going to create a design here. We're going to go to custom size and I am going to do my regular 5,000 by 5,000. So one thing that some of you have asked me is what dimensions you should use because every single product has different dimensions on it. And that is really up to your comfortable standards of dimension sizes. So for me personally, when I'm doing a design, that's going to transfer maybe from a mug to a tumbler to a blanket to a t-shirt or sweatshirt. I stick to 5,000 by 5,000 because that gives me the highest resolution. Now you may have a different standard or you may want to go on Printify and see what Printify uses for their dimensions. So we can easily do that here. We're going to do that together as well. So if we go to mugs and we find that specific mug that we saw before by that other store and we click into this here, we will go to start designing and then underneath that we will see in this area here it says print area size is 2480 by 1122 pixels so if we want to get exact for this video and design our mug design exactly in these dimensions we can do that dimension specifically i think for this video i'm going to do those exact dimensions so we're going to do it just for the sake of this video but if you want to stay kind of in the safe zone and just create your own types of designs. You can do that by 5,000 by 5,000, but I'm going to go back 
and we're going to create our design. So 2480 by 1, I'm just going to double check that. Yep, we are good. Okay, so this is our size template for this specific design. So now we have our mug design parameters already set in. Now I will say, depending on the print provider and depending on the product, the size dimensions will change. You may have seen me put 5,000 by 5,000 or 3,000 by 3,000 in separate videos, but my standardized dimensions I use now is 5,000 by 5,000. I used to use 2,000 by 2,000 or 3,000 by 3,000 in past videos, but that was kind of my old routine of designing. Now I use much more higher resolution as Printify has suggested higher resolution as they go on with their direct to garment printers and their different printers that they use. So I have upgraded in a way to higher resolution for anyone who is confused on that matter. If you want to be standardized for every single design, 5,000 by 5,000 will be perfect. But if you want the specifics, you will have to look into every product specifically. Hopefully that cleared up any confusion. Anyways, back to the video. So now we're going to get into designing. And before we design, I'm going to hop on to Creative Fabrica and find some different types of elements we can add into our design today. And then we will go from there. By the way, the $1 all access trial is in the links in the description. If anyone is curious to get that as well, it's unlimited access for 30 days. Highly recommend this trial because they have their own print on demand section we're going to go into real quick. So this is really nice. They have their own Christmas lights type of, ooh, I love that. So that is so neat. Okay, so we have a font now that we can have. So I'm just going to look at their Christmas graphics and get some print on demand graphics we can use today. So of course we want to make sure the special license area is checkmarked for print on demand. I'm just going to check mark graphics to kind of filter out some things. So this is super cute. There's a vintage Christmas rainbow and I really, really love that. So we're going to do this and I'm not logged into my account. I think I got logged out of everything. So we're, we're going to log in first. The Christmas rainbow is commercial and full print on demand usage license. So I am going to download this. So I'm going to download this font as well. Now that we have the graphics that we want for our specific design and we have some cool fonts to put in, I'm super excited about this. We are going to add those in here. So first I'm going to add that font that I just downloaded. So first I will add a heading and then I'm going to click here. I'm going to go to upload a font. I'm gonna click on OTF. I'm going to open this if it wants to open. It's not opening, it's not opening. So yes, upload anyways, because we do have the commercial print on demand usage license with Creative Fabrica. All their fonts are specifically full print on demand usage. Then I'm going to scroll down and I am going to select the Christmas lights font. So that is such a cute font. I am so ecstatic about this. So generally speaking, when you're designing for a mug, you will see on Printify's website that they have these lines here and it directly shows where your designs will show up on a mug. So generally speaking, you want that design to show up either here or here, but generally we are going to be putting ours just right here where this line is because we don't want it in the middle section or else of course it's not going to show. So what we could do as well is you could put one design here and one design on the back, but for this video, we're just going to put it right here. With that being said, we have it pulled up here and then I'm going to bring over that graphic bundle we downloaded as well here. 
So I think this is super cute, but what we could do, if this were more of a hot cocoa mug, if we were trying to do more of hot cocoa, we could do maybe like a little Santa, maybe, I think these gnomes are really cute. I think I'm gonna do that for this one specifically. So I'm going to do these little gnomes and I'm going to put them just where those lines would be on the actual mug. So I will put it right there. And then I'm going to put this right here. So then what we will do is we are going to kind of do the same thing, but as the other stores, but we're going to put a different name here. So what I would do for this specifically is I would use the letter spacing feature and kind of bring out the letters just a little bit more so it matches the mug. What we can do to kind of add some more fun things to this design is we can also add in little Christmas lights. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste this and I'm going to crop this. So I'm just going to crop it like that. So it kind of looks like this specific design is threading through the Olivia and then just going over the letters. So I think that's a really fun way that you can kind of add some more fun to a design, but this is going to be it for a mug. It was super simple, super easy to create. Then we're going to download it. We're going to up our PNG file. I'm just going to double the size of this to increase our resolution for this one specifically. Then I will download as a transparent PNG. And then I am going to go over and drag and drop this into our mug area here and then we will save this and as you guys can see there's so many different cool colors that you can do with these specific mugs so if you wanted to change the background color maybe to a light gray maybe your customer is asking for a different color you can easily just swap out the colors that way you can always go through canva as well we can do the different stems of the mugs here so we can do a red for christmas we can do a green blue doesn't really make sense to me but if someone asks for blue or pink you can always offer those customization features to your customer and then we will save the product from there. And then we are going to go back and I'm going to get a mock-up image for this mug. We are going to put it on a mug and then I will show you how to add in personalization for your customers to type in when they purchase this mug as well. So I think what's really important is when you're creating your mugs for the Christmas season, what can really help you is by doing a specific type of Christmas mock-up for your mug. So I think this is a cute one. I'm not sold on it yet though. I will put black stem just so I can have something that looks similar to what we have made today. This is a really cute mug for Halloween, but we're getting a little late to design for Halloween. I really love this honeycomb mock-ups. Shout out to honeycomb mock-ups. I do not know them, but it looks like really nice. So I am going to purchase this and we're going to put this on our mug in a second here. So now we are back and we purchased our... My brain totally pooped out there. I'm not going to lie. We purchased our mock-up image. So I'm going to view my downloads. I'm going to download it. And then we are going to go back on Canva here. Okay, so now we have our mug mock-up. I'm just going to pull that over and then I am going to make this the same size as it will print here. So to bring it down slightly. So what's really nice is since we have the same size as the print area on Printify, we're basically going to line it up to the bottom and top of the mug. And I'm just making it slightly smaller just so it's more accurate to how it will print. And then I'm going to take the transparency down just so it looks real on the mug, but we still want this vibrant. So the transparency you're going to have for a mug is going to be more vibrant than what you would use on a t-shirt because t-shirts print out more faded due to direct-to-garment printers. 
and mugs are a little bit different because these will print quite a bit more bright since the image that you upload on a mug will print as is because it is a glossy finish and the designs just come out really, really nice for mugs. So besides that, that is it for the specific design. So I'm going to download this as a JPG file and then we are going to go on Etsy and we're going to push this order through. So I'm going to go on the back end here. I'm going to publish to my store. So upon looking at the image mockups, this is me messing up. So I'm going to go back to Printify and I'm going to move my design just slightly to the side so it, it prints correctly. So I'm gonna move this so it's just straight down this middle line here and then we're going to bring it up just slightly. And then I'm going to publish it so I was not paying attention and I was paying attention more to the size of the design and yeah, that was my bad. So we're going back, we're going back. We're gonna take this back a little bit. I said that earlier too and I totally went against what I said. This is what happens when it's lunchtime and you're hungry and trying to edit that video, you know? You know what I'm saying? Let me go back. Let me X out all these tabs. Who gets really stressed about a bunch of tabs being open? I definitely do, but it just is what it is. So this is much better. The mock-up generator software has brought our design to life. Super cute, super nice on these types of mock-up generators that Printify provides. Printify just has like really nice mock-up generators for these things. So I'm going to delete. I really like the black one that shows the other side because that shows that it's blank on the other side and then it shows the green stem. So I'm going to keep those in and then I'm just going to bring over our new mock-up we just edited. So and then I'm going to adjust this thumbnail here. So I will save that and Etsy has this recent like bug or something where when you adjust the thumbnail it doesn't save but I'm going to go in a little bit more on this so I'm going to save that again so what I did earlier is I I just deleted that tab I deleted the tab that I was going to look at their tags on and we're gonna act like that didn't happen so <laughs> This is the mug that we pulled some inspiration from and I think we have a really cute mug of our own now. So I'm going to kind of take some of the tags. Really I'm going to take all of their tags because I have Everbe and they have this really nice feature. I've said this in past videos but under this tag section you can copy all to clipboard so I can just copy and paste their tags that they already made and this makes your life so much easier especially when it's a bestseller. We know it's a bestseller from last year. It's going to be a bestseller again so we're using the tags that they used and hopefully we rank for what they did as well. So I am going to also add in just a simple title. You can watch my SEO tags and description videos video. I have it. It has a thumbnail that says huge SEO. It's a different video. I highly recommend watching that. This video is not that. We're just going over how to create this personalization mug on Etsy, but highly recommend watching the huge SEO update video because I go over in-depth how to write descriptions, titles, tags, all that. So what I would do for this though, I would put personalized hot cocoa mug or I will keep the white accent mug and I'm just going to keep it as that because what's really important in this video to make this video as short as can be is adding in the personalization feature. So if we go down to this area here, we click on on so we will toggle this on. So for your store, it really depends on what you're comfortable with. For me personally, I would only be comfortable of a name up to maybe 13, 14 characters. So I could put just max 13 characters and then no spaces. So this will show up in the listing when someone purchases it and it will show up just like this. So this is just an example of what I would personally do. And you can always put leave blank if you would only like the graphic. So oops, I cannot spell. 
So this is what you would put as well. If maybe you have a really cute graphic that people just want by itself, you could just put, hey, leave this blank. Or you can also put personalization as optional. That is also an idea here, but I will put the character limit to 13. Like I said before, Etsy, it looks like they recommend 12. For me, what I would be comfortable with is 13 to 14. I leave my characters more open to customers because if let's say someone wants to get a mug with all of their kids' names on it or grandkids' names on it, I think that's a really cute idea. And just putting all those names together, it can create many characters. So you can leave it open to more characters or you can make it shorter if you just want to do one name mugs as well. So besides that, I'm going to publish this listing and we are going to look at the listing together here on Etsy. So I'm going to click on view on Etsy and then as you guys can see, this is our cute little mug we have for our customers. It has just a name Olivia on it with our cute little graphic of the little gnomes. And this Creative Fabrica bundle I will put below as well. Link in the description if anyone would like to use these specific rainbows and these little names. I'll put the font in the description as well because it's a super cute font. I think this mug is something that I would buy for a family member, maybe a friend, maybe a co-worker. I think these are so cute and especially it's a really great idea if maybe you have a friend who's a mom and you can put their kids names on these mugs, things like that. I think these are just so adorable and as you can can see they can add in their personalization here so I could put maybe Heather maybe I want to put myself on a mug I can be a mug but this is just a super cute and fun mug that anyone can create and hopefully this helped those of you looking for some inspiration for Christmas time and the holidays that are coming up it is very much time to design for the holidays and Christmas I suggest designing for any type of product you can think of right now. People are surprisingly shopping for it and little things like this. If you have someone that you know likes hot cocoa so much during Christmas, then generally you may be thinking, hey, I should buy a Christmas gift for so-and-so that has anything related to hot cocoa. Or maybe they collect decorations of gnomes and mistletoes and things like that. You just never know around the holiday season and you will be surprised what sells, but you will never know what sells if you do not post to begin with. So create those listings, pull some inspiration, hopefully from this video, and I will see you all in the next video. Don't forget to get Everbe in the links in the description below. You can get your first month for free with Everbe. So don't forget to download that again in the description below, and I will see you all in the next video here. So if anyone's wondering, this specific mug I got from... What am I saying? You know what? You know what? I need tea first. That's my problem. I don't even know where my phone is. I do these videos. I set my area up and I don't, I don't even know where my phone is. Hold on one second, friends. Hold on. Or we will resume with the video shortly. I don't know why I look so like greasy in this video, but my skin is not this greasy in person. I don't know what's happening. So anyways, I'm not looking at the price of this mug while I'm filming. This is the color changing mug on Printify. Oh my gosh, the glare, the glare is so bad. Okay, let me, oh, let me. So I have a second channel for those of you who are more interested. I'm gonna focus myself. So, I don't know if I'm still in focus. I feel like I'm so far back. <laughs> and now, oop, that's gross. I just had a hair. Oh, the hair's still on me. Oh, I think it's gone. Oh, I can never focus. Type of design for specifically, oop, I don't know if I'm in focus. Oh, okay. I am not in focus. I am still not in focus. Hopefully I'm in focus. If not, I'm just talking by myself. So <laughs> time right now and Etsy. Bleh. That's generalized. That's my, sorry, I'm going to repeat that. I feel like my brain is pooping out at this point.